Hi, this is Sherry Leopold. If you don't know who I am, I am a licensed brain health trainer, and I'm also a network marketer. But today, if you read the title of this, it's called Fear, Overcoming Fear. So I want to talk a little bit about what fear is. Now, fear is a natural, normal response, and it's actually designed in our brain as a self-protective measure, right? So, you know, we, we don't want to eliminate fear. We want to make sure, however, though, that fear isn't what you've heard very commonly in the acronym as false evidence appearing real. Um, and I know some people say, forget everything and run. Uh, but here's the reality with that. I believe that we need some amount of fear but the first thing we have to do is actually decide if the fear is actually a real thing or not and where it's coming from. Because fear is one of the things that can stop you right in your tracks when it comes to business. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about I'm going to tell you a story about a skunk because I actually think fear is truly just a skunk. Um, and so I'm going to tell you the story of the skunk. So in business, and I've been in network marketing for many, many years, but this is true in any business or any type of uh, sales, if you have to prospect anywhere, anything like that, I want to share with you the story of the skunk. So if you and I are driving down a back road somewhere, and it's very dark uh, and we smell a skunk and you know the windows are rolled up say you're going 50 miles an hour or whatever you the first thing you want to do is roll your windows down right like you want to get away from it and let it out so i want to talk to you about why is why do i say that fear is a skunk because fear is what your prospects smell when you approach them and you are not confident in what you're sharing, whether it's about your product, whether it's you, what will they think? Oh my gosh, they'll think I'm trying to sell them something, you know, or if you get in your head, that's where the fear comes from. That's where the skunk comes from, right? That's that smell. And just as you and I are in that car and the first thing we do is hit that button or roll that window down to let that out to get away from it your prospects will get away from you they do this a number of ways they ghost you if you've been trying to message them they also will answer your message with something completely unrelated to what you asked about or they will simply say hey no thanks even if they might have had some interest I will tell you, this is happens all the time when, when you share things and, and you know because it's been in your inbox or it's like really salesy sounding and nobody wants to be sold. But I assure you that everyone wants to buy. And so I really want to tell you to just quit being skunky. So how do you avoid that? Will you avoid that by being very confident in your abilities, very confident in your product, knowing the value and benefits of whatever it is you're sharing? And here's the ironic thing. This works even in relationships. So if you are meeting new people and making new friends, if you've moved into a new neighborhood or you've entered a new relationship with somebody, don't be a skunk there either. What if they don't like me? What if he thinks I'm this? What if she thinks I'm that? That is skunk and people will avoid it and they will avoid you and you are missing out on the best things that can happen for you if you act like a skunk, right? And that is simply fear, fear. And you can say false evidence appearing real, which is fine. It doesn't really matter, but the, but the reality is fear is uh, your natural response to avoid imminent danger. The difference is your brain doesn't really understand whether that is real or imagined. So that's why I said in the beginning, you got to figure out first, is it real? 
Do I know my product? Do I love myself? Can I come off confident? Do I believe in the value of what I'm asking somebody to part with for the price of the product? All those things roll into it and actually create what you're sharing. And it's also the bridge, if you will, to closing a sale. So I'm sharing this with you because I really want you to not be a skunk when you show up with people. If you have to do a little powwow with yourself saying, I'm awesome, I love me, I love my products, I'm so good at this, then that's what you need to do. You need to set your brain on fire with confidence before you ever leave. Doesn't matter if you're going in a relationship, if you're going prospecting, if you're gonna try to close a sale, if you're gonna reach out to somebody new you don't know, lead with your most powerful self lead with confidence. That's how you avoid the skunk. And the, if you can avoid the skunk and showing up as the skunk, people won't avoid you. You'll have more sales, you'll have more money, you'll have more friends, and you'll be happier. So avoid the skunk. And I'd like to give you a different acronym for fear. And mine is actually forge energetically ahead regardless. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to tell you to do with fear. Forge energetically ahead regardless. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have all the right words. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person. Forget about it. Just do it. Move ahead. Be confident and passionate about what you're sharing and people will want what you have when they know what it is you have. So create the life you want to live by sharing from your heart with your passion and with who you are. That's how you're going to be successful. You got this. Don't be a skunk. Be awesome.